Hello friends, welcome to my channel Code Blocks. In this video, I want to discuss another we put an next problem, and the problem is form three password. Okay, so we have to find a password that has three different parts. First of all, we have to give an with two inputs. One is the array of numbers, and second input the size of the array. And uh, our task is to is to find a password that consists of three parts. Okay, that consists of three parts. First part is the um, uh, first part, second part, and third part. Okay, so first part is the number that occurs least number of times. Second is the second highest number of times, and the third is the number we have to find the number that occurs highest number of times. Okay, and uh, there is some uh, um, points. Okay, that have to, we have to remember to find the password. The if one if more than one number occurs same number of times then we have to choose the greater value in case of part two and part three. So in case of part two and part three, suppose we have twelve and fourteen both occurs three number of times. Okay, so in that case we have to choose fourteen because it is greater greater than than twelve. Okay, but in case of one we have to find in, in case of one one means the number that occurs least number of times. Okay, so suppose we have two and five. Both occurs one times. Okay, we have to choose two because two less than five. Okay, that's why here in case of part one we have to we have to choose two here, but in case of part two and part three we have to choose fourteen. If uh, same uh, if uh, two num two or three numbers occurs same number of times. Okay, in this case. So um, in the earlier video I told you how to uh, create uh, how to solve the form two password. In that case we have the four different steps. As before, we have to find uh, maximum and minimum number from array. Number two, we have to create a frequency array. Number three, we have to count. The frequency of count frequency of all number count frequency of all number okay and last of all and the final step final step we have to find the number we have to find the numbers uh, part one plus part two plus part three okay. Part one means we have to find the number that occurred least number of times. Part two means we have to find the number that occurred second highest number of times. Okay, second highest. And part three means uh, part three means we have to find the number that occurred highest number of times. Okay. So <clears throat> this is the logic. Now comes to coding part. Okay, so our first step is we have to find the maximum and minimum number from the array. Okay, so that's why we have to uh, declare and initialize the variable max is equal to array of zero and minimum is equal to array of zero. And now uh, we have to uh, take a for loop and traverse from i is equal to one to i less than n. Plus plus, and we have to find the maximum and minimum. Okay, if array of i greater than max, then max is equal to array of i, and uh, if array of i less than minimum, then the minimum number is array of i. And now we have to create a frequency array. Enter uh, frequency is equal to new, is equal to integer. Uh, size is equal to max. Okay. And now we have to count the frequency of all numbers, and that are stored in the frequency array.
as i told earlier in the earlier video i told you that uh, what is the frequency of that means the using for each loop we are uh, we are uh, counting the frequency of all numbers okay if you not understand then you will see the uh, earlier video okay Now we have to uh, find the um, highest frequency, uh, highest occurrence number, uh, uh, second highest occurrence number, and least occurrence number. Okay, so that's why we have to declare and initialize variable highest occurrence zero, uh, second highest occurrence is equal to zero, and least least occurrence is equal to minimum minus one we have to initialize this okay now we have to <coughs> traverse the array element that means the frequency uh, frequency array we have to traverse the frequency array keep in mind here now now um, we have to check <coughs> that the frequency of i if my it get up then you zero or not and if it is get and frequency of i if it is greater than equals to uh, frequency of a uh, high occurrence then we have to check another condition frequency of i if it is uh, not equal to frequency of second uh, sorry frequency of high occurrence then we have to uh, initialize uh, second high occurrence is equal to high occurrence and then high occurrence becomes is equal to y and now goes to else if loop using this else if loop we have to uh, find uh, the second highest occurrence okay so first of all check frequency of i greater than zero or not and one more condition frequency of i if it is greater than equals to frequency of second highest occurrence then second highest occurrence become is equal to i okay <coughs> and now the final condition that means we have to find the least occurrence number okay so in that case we have to put one more condition frequency of i it should be uh, greater than zero and frequency of i is um, less than frequency of least occurrence then least occurrence becomes i okay and in the last stage we have to return the string okay so return uh, the pass for part one part one means the list occurrence list occurrence number plus one because we are storing the the numbers the uh, at the i i i minus one position okay so that's why to get the exact value we have to increase the value at one then part two okay that means second highest occurrence plus one and finally the highest occurrence plus one so now check output so first input is we have to given the size of the array and the second is we have to put the array elements so 12 2 36 and then 10 and then 217 and then 36 then 5 then 36 and then 15 and then 10 okay so this is our password so 2 2 is the smallest uh, that, that occurs the least number of times 10 second highest uh, occurrence uh, second highest occurrence number and 36 the highest occurrence number okay so that's all for this video and this is the code and the source code are available in the code description in the google link the pdf format